Hey guys, George from ErgonomicTrends.com here, and here's my review of the DX Racer King, a massive gaming chair that's equally heavy on your wallet. See if it's worth the $500 price tag, and whom, if anyone, should get this chair. Let's go! So this is the most important factor for me, the build quality. I mean, why spend more on a DX Racer brand if it basically looks and functions like any other gaming chair? To that end, the DX Razer King overall lives up to his name. This is a beast that will have no problems properly supporting a big person up to the advertised 300 pounds weight limit. Firstly, the seat on the DX Razer King is the heaviest I've ever come across, and for good reason. Turn it over and you see why. See those three slabs of metal beams? How's that for peace of mind? The amount of cold cured padding inside the seat and backrest is also frightening. The backrest literally feels like another seat with a 4 inch thick foam at the tail end of it. The one week link are the armrests. While they are 4D and adjustable in every direction, you can see that it's all plastic and feels somewhat flimsy. Certain adjustments also isn't very smooth due to the plastic track underneath. Let's talk about comfort now. To me, the standout feature is the multi-tilt mechanism on the king chair. In a nutshell, it's perfectly balanced to enable you to rock the heavy backrest with complete ease and buttery smoothness. There is even a bounciness that helps automatically return the backrest to upright each time. If you like to work in a 90 degree upright position, I can also say that the DX Racer King is perhaps the most comfortable chair we've reviewed so far for doing so. For me at least, the large and flat backrest with the two external pillows cradles the cervical spine and lower back perfectly in that position. The DX Racer King is a massive chair, and definitely not for everyone. I'm 5 feet 8 and my feet just barely touch the floor. Without a footrest, it's not comfortable. The company says the ideal range is for someone between 5 feet 9 and 6 feet 2, and below 300 pounds, and I'd say that's mostly accurate. The usable seat width on the King is around 16 inches, which while above average, isn't exactly king size enough for someone over 300 pounds, in my opinion. As a chair that costs around $500, in my opinion, the DX Racer King's value is really only fully justified if you're big and tall. That is, you're 250 to 300 pounds that tend to shred budget gaming chairs for breakfast. If that's you, you'll probably save money in the long run by going with this chair. For the rest of us though, there are cheaper gaming chairs out there that deliver better value and excitement for the money, such as the K-Cream or DX Racer Titan. Thank you.